Uh, hello guys, this is a, a post recording because something went wrong. So this is the second episode of Pokemon Light Platinum Let's Play. Um, right here I was just showing off how I trained up my team. I even had like a, a training session. But due to my lack of preparation, um, I lost the training session and my audio also left so yeah so i'll be um post re or post narrating this so i'm going against bug catcher jose and i'm sending out my elkit going for the quick attack oh man i remember this so right here i was saying how there was no um Pokemon Center or a place to heal in the first town i literally hadn't even gone past his first trainer so for me to heal i had to let my Pokemon fight until they uh, fainted, and that's what ended up happening. And this first section, this first section, man, this first section right here, it is ridiculous. So he's gonna send out his Venipede again, and uh, I'm gonna switch to my Shell Shock, trying to preserve my Elkid because he's poisoned. Yeah, I was thinking he'd been attacking again. Um, and my main thing about this episode was to fast forward uh, quite a bit so I can get farther into the series because I didn't think I was um, making good timing sort of so anyway back to the video I got oh well, not got wow oh yeah no Elkid learned Thunder Punch by growing to level 9 and yeah now the battle's over I see four dollars So, and, um, no mark, so I didn't have any paralyzed heals or antidotes, and I really did wish I had both of those, and you will see why. So, there's a item in the grass. It's a potion. I'm gonna pick that up. You know, potion. Might come in handy sometime. So, as I'm about to go against him, Elkid fainted. You have to begin a prayer to fight an experienced trainer. Man, I am the experienced trainer. Except... When I went against this guy, I looked. It's not like I look like a, a beginner or a noob or anything. It's just all the hacks that was happening against me, man. It was just unexplainable. So I go for the bubble on this Puchiana a couple times, trying to kill it. All right, there we go. Puchiana fainted. Gain some more ASP as he sends in his electric. I was thinking that he didn't have a electric move, so I just kept on going for a bubble. And he had Thunder Wave. I mean, it's a electric type move, but not an offensive one, so I didn't really care. So I decided to go for tackle, thinking it might do more. It, I don't know. I got paralyzed. Got paralyzed again. He got a crit on me. And then I finally take him out. And I level up to level 10 and learn withdraw. So he's gonna send out his Blitzel. I am gonna go for a bubble. Still. Um I was thinking he didn't have electric attack uh, attack either, so I just stayed in. Well it's not like I go to anything else, this is my last Pokemon. And as he sends his Spearow, I'm thinking, yeah, I might be oh snap. As after he spec a thousand blues. And then I killed him. And I was thinking, alright, I'm I still might win. Last Pokemon is Pidgey. Alright. I got that potion from earlier, right? So I'm gonna use that potion so I don't lose any more money. Because while I was training, you know, every time I fainted, I put my fainting, I had to go back to my first town. I lost half my money. So I don't want to lose any more money. I started off with 3000 and like right now I have like 750 Oh look, I got paralyzed again. Oh look, he's using sand attack. But I hit. Oh look, I paralyzed. Oh look, he used sand attack. Oh look, I missed. Hey, I missed again. Hey, I got paralyzed. Hey, I missed again. Hey, I missed again. And Squirtle fainted. So, nothing I could really do about that um, battle right there. But I was just saying, wow, did that really just happen? Oh, and then this is where I was saying how I lost all that money. So, I'm going to go back and battle that trainer.
So switch my lead up so L can you know get some XP. Um, let's go for some thunder punches. Except for on his electric and quick attack. I mean, I get his static anyway, so I mean, his thunder wave didn't matter. All right, here comes Spiro. I'm just gonna knock it out with a thunder punch. Uh, here comes his Blitzel. Uh, I'm just gonna use quick attack until it faints. Oh, here I misclicked. Then I was thinking, does he have like motor drive or full absorb? But he didn't, so I just go for a quick attack to go first and hopefully take him out. And I do. So that's that battle, and I'm gonna keep on walking. Um, Wormpole, yeah. So, I don't know, I found this weird personally how I have to use the TM Thief to take berries off those little berry trees, so I didn't teach anybody and I just talked to her, looked down there, and uh, after this Wormpool battle I'm just gonna go back up and I find another Wormpool. And I'm gonna fight a Beedoof as well. I mean, everybody's invited to this party. So I'm about to go get uh, another bug catcher and see what he has. I mean, by his name, I'm guessing he's a bug catcher. So he probably has bugs, right? Indeed. So he sends in his cricket type. I must play this quite a bit. He goes for growl, I go for thunder punch. Uh, I take him out. He has a cat repeat, so I'm gonna switch in. Oh, no, no. Oops. So I'm gonna go for another thunder punch. And Elke leveled up to level 11. Here comes his Venipede. I decided to stay in because Elke can uh, Elko it with Thunder Punch. And yeah. So there goes Venipede. Here comes Metapod. Now I was thinking, oh, I have Metapod, can't do anything. No, so I didn't send in my Squirtle. So he can get some XP. So uh, Elke's not doing everything. I go for Bubble. I go for Bubble again. And I go for Bubble a third time. And there goes Metapod. Alright, so Shell Shock's gonna level up to level 11. Looking all good. And here comes the Metapod. I. Yeah, so. This is a wrong battle. I'm thinking of something coming up. So I go for Bubble. Or two bubbles. I missed that first one. And I'm gonna go for the last bubble to take him out. Defeated Bug Catcher Matt. So, go on the grass, find level 1 Wormpool. Get a, another potion. And we're about to head into the city. Oh, after we talk to this person right here. Central City, Route 401, Route 402, and Marfinulet. Alright, so... I'm kinda glad the audio was lost here because... Um, somebody wanted to text me and I forgot to turn off my phone. So this is why I was taking it slow right here. So, um, it's regarding that. I talked to the old man and I got an Ultra Ball. Alright, so... And then I stated that there's still good people in the world. People just giving out things for free. I mean, I'll keep on taking them if they keep on giving it out. And, yeah. So, um, I'm going to talk to her. I think I'm going to talk to this policeman right here. Yeah. So, I talk to him. And then I go inside. So, a lot of them either say the same thing as the other person. Or, they, I think all of them don't give you anything.
So yeah, there's nothing in here, so I just leave. So, uh, um, here, I stated that I was going to go around the city and go through the houses, because apparently in this game, if you talk to random people, they can give you stuff. Or some people do. And some people give you cool things, so I'm going to, well, this episode would have been the first episode, too, but, um, from here on out, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to go search around, and I'm going to unpause it whenever I find something. So, yeah. Um, I decided to do that later, and um, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center to heal up my. Oh yeah, I just talked to her because she wouldn't get out the way and then she finally moved. But yeah, city called In Horse City. Um, wow, that's pretty embarrassing, uh. Probably cut that out. Um, so I'm gonna keep on walking. So, I got an up coin from this person, and uh, that message you guys just saw, I'm going to leave that in the video. Because I just, it, I find it pretty ironic how I lost my files, and that message was talking about, you should back up your files for free. So, in cases of emergency, you can recover them. And I would like that about, or I would like to do that right about now. So, yeah. Um, talk to more people. That's gone to his hall. Talk to him, you can get a growl for free. And just giving stuff out. So yeah, if you want a growl, go pick it up. Um, I stated in the video that I'm not going to use them. Um, that's one of the Pokemon I used, to, I used to use a lot, and thanks to me, I, like, I overuse it. So now, me and growls in games, in game wise, I'm probably not going to use for a while. So. Uh, I stated, or I stated slash said, whichever one, that um, if there's a better fire type, I'll use it. So, like I said, I wanted to explore this game, and I'm pretty sure there'll be more fire types. I mean, it's generation 1 through 5, there will be more fire types. So, I'll talk to him, he said that's the safari zone up there. Talk to him, you get HMO 1 focus punch. That's a, yeah, it's not really a good TM for the beginning of the game. Then see their Pokemon all you know is one attacking move or an attacking move and a status move like sand attack or growl or something. So I'm gonna go into this mart. Um I decided to buy antidotes and paralyze you. So I mean I could have bought more but you know, thanks to me dying a lot. But um I'm broke pretty much. So I'm gonna exit the Pokemon Mart and uh, I'm gonna go north. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the east to Marfeni Lake, and here I was just showing off the growl. I got a lax nature, not not really the best, but like I said, I'm not gonna use it. So um, I spent a little bit in this grass, just trying to find different Pokemon. And the first Pokemon I found, I believe, was a P Dub. Yeah, P Dub. And the second one I found was a Tyrogue. And then another Tyrogue. So, all I could find in this grass was P Dub and Tyrogue, and I didn't stay longer. Oh, and Nikata, and I didn't stay longer to find anything else, so. Um, if, if you guys know this game. You can suggest Pokemon. I'll drop try to clean any Pokemon except for my Squirtle. And 
the well, I won't drop it just for anything. You have to give me a pretty reasonable thing. I'm not gonna drop like L kid for like a ditto when I no, it's okay. So um I'm gonna keep, uh, keep on heading east and battle this trainer. So I am battling last marina with a uh, crow gunk. I'll send them my LK and just to get out Thunder Punch. LK is uh, pretty strong early in game. I'm liking it. This is gonna send in send it in a Starly. She's gonna send it, sorry. And I'm gonna finish it off with Thunder Punch. Yeah, it's pretty much gonna be a Thunder Punch sweep. Really, that's all that's happening. So LK is gonna level up to level 12. And uh, she's gonna send out a Bidoof. And I'm gonna switch. Cause I don't want Alakid to be getting higher than my starter, uh, more than one level, by more than one level. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go for a bubble. I'm gonna go for a few bubbles. And she's gonna send out Blitzel. Again, I'm pretty sure it didn't have electric type just yet. Electric attack, so I'm gonna go for a tackle. Or, you yeah, know, not just one, but a, a two at least. Yeah, it should take it out. Alright, so I took it out. Um, my shock shot, squirtle, whatever. Uh, I was gonna level up to level 12. And she has a Spearow. So I just decided to stay in. And, uh, just gonna go for. Well, that's Happle. And probably finish her off with another Tackle or a Bubble, maybe. Nope, another Tackle. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, I didn't realize she used Growl, so I probably should have used Bubble. But, same outcome. Alright, so I defeated that last. Um, I'm going to battle him. I'm going to look at my Pokemon, switch up. Nope. Yeah, there we go. I thought I switched up. So. Now Squirtle's in front, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, battle him. Alright, so he's gonna send in his Stunky. And I'm gonna go for a Bubble. And uh, I found this pretty funny. Because he goes for Harden. And it's just strange to see a Stunky use Harden. So he's gonna go for Ash, I'm gonna go for Bubble. He can go for Pound, I'm gonna go for Bubble. I'm gonna go for bubble again. Take it out. And I should level up. Yeah, I went to level 13. And uh, I'm trying to learn water gun. So I swiftly deleted withdraw because I'd rather have tail up just in case. Yeah, you know, for tackle. One, two, and poof. So yeah, I'm gonna learn water gun. Alright, uh, so, uh, I'm gonna send the Alakid, because I want to keep my Pokemon. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Wow. No, I remember now. I wanted to, uh, debut Water Gun. I mean, I've been using Bubble for so long, I might as well use Water Gun, right? So, I take it out in two Water Guns, and now he has a Stunky. And now I'm gonna switch out. Alright, so I'm gonna go for Thunder Punch. Yeah, I'll go for Thunder Punch. So, um, here, I was saying that I hope this game isn't going to be easy because my Pokemon seem pretty high right about now. And then, as soon as I get to him, I started realizing that it being this level isn't even that much um, greater than everybody else, though. So, you know. Uh, Poison, he goes for Quick Attack, I go for Quick Attack. I soon realize I'm going to lose this war if I keep playing. So, I'm going to send in... Shell shot, and here's the part of the episode where I was saying I misplayed this quite a bit. So, yeah, I use tail whip, and then I use water gun, and then I use water. Gun. I thought I had one more turn, so I try to use water gun to take him out, and then bye kills me. So, I go into L kid, and I'll take him out with a quick attack.
all right that's that and then right here I said I'll um, pause the video and I was gonna cut it in the editing but uh yeah I mean nothing happens all LK does is faint and then I just go to the Pokemon Center and I heal up so right there I decided to check on uh, what time I was recording So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna get back to that spot. And then right here I try to play a smooth like Hello guys, we are back. And then just showing off my team and how uh they looked they how how good they looked and I was just saying that um You know they healed up no, there we go. So here oh I just said something dumb. I said, uh, oh, is Casper here or something? Because the uh, footsteps were, you know, going across the screen. And there was nobody walking. Anyway. So, yeah, I, um, I gave Wesley FG good credit. Or, I would like to give him credit. Because if anybody could do this type of scripting, that's, that's really good. And I also stated that I wanted to make a game or two in the past, but I scrapped it because I don't have, I don't think I have the creativity. I know for a fact I don't have the time and probably don't have the patience if like a bug or a glitch happens, I can't fix it right then and there. So yeah, that's my story on uh, emulator games or ROM hacks. And then uh, a script activates. Because uh, Professor Oak is being attacked by Feebass. So yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this uh, battle music. I said that. I'm pretty sure this is um, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel's battle music. So yeah. And uh, you could have caught that Feebass if you wanted to. But for me, there's really no point since I got a Blastoise. So Professor Oak is talking. Oh, I also made a comment. He says um that uh Kenta right over there, that's his nephew. So I said if Gary's his grandson and Gary's like ten or twelve with Ash or Red, that means Kenta's like thirty, thirty, twenty, around that area. That's uh it's pretty strange. Cause that's like Professor Oak's brother's son. Or our sister's son, so that means and, and Professor Oak's pretty old, so that means Kenta has to be twenty years and above. But that I would like to say so anyway. But well, you don't have to, but that's that's just something I was talking about. So I got a water stone, and then right here I said that uh, in this game you can evolve a Feebas right then and there with that water stone if you have caught one. It's called Milotic. So yeah, if you want a Milotic. Let's say you chose Charmander or a uh, Bulbasaur. If you really wanted to, man, you could have uh, a good, pretty decent water type right then and there. Like, you don't even have to go through a bad stage or nothing, just right there. Although, um, evolving right there wouldn't really be smart. I didn't know if that Feebass had tackle or not, but if it didn't, that means you have to train my Lotic up pretty uh, high up. At least to a decent level. So yeah, right here I said my farewells, and uh, I s in in this episode I said I was going to uh, go to the Safari Zone um, and make a clip about it, but for some reason the Safari the Safari Zone went open. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, like, comment, subscribe.